Hello, and welcome to another Legendary Lost Sector video. Today's Lost Sector is the Velus Labyrinth located within the Forgotten Shore in the EDZ. Today specifically gives out arms, which is the only way to get some of the new exotic arms from the Beyond Light DLC. For today's run, we are going to be using an Escape Velocity with Overflow and Surrounded, an Ancient Gospel with Rabbit Hit and Kill Clip, and a Sub-Zero Salvo with Ambitious Assassin and Chain Reaction. I'm going to be using the Mask of Bacchus, but you don't really need that to do so. I'm just doing it because it's going to give me a little bit more arc damage. Uh, I'm trying to do a video today purely of weapons that you can easily get, minus the Ancient Gospel, since it's only found in a raid. It's just the only hand cannon I could find. Uh, then I'm going to be using Anti-Barrier and Unstoppable, along with some charged with power mods such as high energy fire, stacks on stacks, and taking charge along with powerful friends just to give me a little bit more mobility. Uh, Global Reach doesn't do anything since I don't have any of those mods. And then Thermal Overload also won't do anything. But we could easily switch, uh, switch it out for Spoils of War, but I'm not going to since a lot of people might not be within these tiers of their artifact for this season. I'll be using the Revenant Hunter subclass, which is the new Stasis subclass. Uh, I don't think these matter too much. Uh, as From what I found, I don't think they matter too much. Otherwise, we're going right into this Lost Sector. This is probably one of the fastest Lost Sectors that we have currently. The runs that I've been doing using my Anarchy with this Hunter Bacchus have all been under 5 minutes long. But we will see how it is using the Sub Zero Salvo. There are only three champions within this Lost Sector, which also makes it very quick as well. So if you want a really quick farm, if you can get this down pat, especially if, if you have Anarchy, I think Anarchy is a very good tool here. It can give you some very quick and fast runs. On my previous attempt, I did get the new Hunters gauntlets so if you want any proof there it is there we go and as you can see that freeze I would highly recommend if you're playing at least hunter use the dust field grenades I think they're very good for titans I would highly recommend using your glacier and then warlock is probably your, your cold snap as it can sort of put in place those extra thrall while you take care of that knight. Then up here is another very easy part of this part of this lost sector, excuse me. Aim back there, then hopefully he should give you enough time to reload and get him dealt with. I use triple jump, so, but I'm pretty sure you can make that with just two jumps. I didn't even have to use my triple jump for that. I'm gonna make sure I reload. Get that ready. Fire that. I would never go for a second shot there. I would always reload and then just wait and try to get another one of those shots off. Keep in mind, unstoppable rounds don't always hit as consistently as we would like them to. Then we're gonna finish him up with that. That is not heavy ammo. The adds are the most difficult part about this whole encounter. Especially these knights. We're going to see if we can get them to group up. And then we're going to try to rip their shields off. Because match game is active currently. And then we will finish him. I would throw your super out if you're a hunter or if you're a warlock. 
I would also go out there with Warlocks. You do have that glitch right now with the Whisper of Hedrons, I believe is what it's called, or the Hedron uh, Fragment for your subclass, so that's going to give you a lot of extra damage. Titans, you can be a little bit more aggressive during this time. See, as you can see, he's almost down just from that, that super. I would imagine a similar DPS would align for the other classes. We are in our second week, so I will be able to get my other classes up to a higher light, light level to do these legendary lost sectors, so hopefully I'll be able to put out more videos showing off the different subclasses. We don't have to worry about another champion spawning during this. There is just one champ. Uh, there's just those three champions. The only thing we have to worry about is if we kill too many adds, it will spawn a wizard that comes out of this portal. Otherwise, that is it. You'll try to rush up here real quick, get our loot. As you can see, we got platinum. There's only the three champions, and that will conclude our lost sector. Uh, the main thing you just need to worry about are obviously all these adds. And then, realistically, the, the most trouble I've had is just with the Cursed Thrall that appear down here, and then getting to this platform over there, because the Acolytes can kill you really quick if you're not careful. So always try to make sure that you are have full health, you have a decent bit of recovery, maybe, or at least your class ability to help assist you in that situation. Otherwise, that is all for this Lost Sector video today. Again, this is a very, very quick Lost Sector, so I'd highly recommend you farm this, if, especially if you want to farm new arms. I know for Titans, arms are like your, your thing, so hopefully you guys have good luck. Thank you for the video, and I'll talk to you guys later.